Welcome to Daily History Report. It is the 26th of July, and I am Arthur, your host for the program. On this day in 1775, Benjamin Franklin became Postmaster General for the American colonies. Though he was always a scientist, this appointment gave him reason to study why sailing ships carrying the mail traveled at different average speeds in opposite directions, and led him to discover and name the Gulf Stream. He even made his own chart of it. You can see the original here. While hardly anyone can be surprised by a summer road trip these days, in 1903, it was quite a feat. On July 26, 1903, the first automobile trip across the United States from California to New York was completed. It took 63 days. Here is Nelson Jackson at the wheel of his car, which he lovingly named Vermont for his home state. Today, on July 26, 1943, a mysterious smog appeared in Los Angeles, California. The word smog was already invented, and scientists knew it caused it in London. But, since, differently from London, L.A. did not burn much coal, its causes remained a mystery till the chemist, Ari Hagensmith, linked it to an unusual reaction between nitrogen oxide from car pollution, VOCs, and sunlight producing the photochemical smog. I learned about it from a fascinating TED-Ed presentation, which I'll put in comments. So check it out. Also today, in 1947, President Truman signs the National Security Act, establishing the Department of Defense, CIA, and National Security Council. So I guess we can call it the CIA's birthday. And it's not even a top secret. Here is my favorite spy book. And two years ago, in 2016, Solar Impulse 2 becomes the first solar-powered aircraft to circumnavigate the Earth. The plane, which has a wingspan wider than a Boeing 747, started and completed its journey in Abu Dhabi. It spent more than 23 days in the air, and you can see the map of its journey here. Pretty amazing. It stopped in places like New York, China, and Hawaii. And holidays. Today, Independence Day is celebrated in Liberia and in Maldives. Liberia's story of independence is so unique, I just have to share it. Did you know that? The American Colonization Society founded Liberia in 1821 as a place for free African Americans to migrate to. More than 10,000 made the journey across the Atlantic, aided by the society, until Liberia declared independence in 1847. Joseph Jenkins Robert, a freed slave from Virginia, became the first president. Happy Independence Day, Liberia! That is all for now. See you again on the DHR, or Daily History Report, and thank you for watching.